Hello, I'm Cheryl Carson. I am a paediatric endocrinologist here at Children's Hospital. Uh, I work with a diabetes team and uh, we see over 600 children and teenagers with diabetes in southwestern Ontario. Most of the children that we see have what's called type 1 diabetes, which we used to call juvenile, uh, juvenile diabetes, but now is called type 1. And for those children, um, it is essential that they have insulin, and which has to be given by injection uh, using either a syringe or a pen or a pump. I'm holding an insulin pump here, and as you can see, this is about the size of a pager or a cell phone, and this pump is battery driven. Um, a reservoir or cartridge of insulin is fitted in here. Um, so this is the cartridge which contains insulin, it's inserted here and that usually will um, uh, contain enough insulin to last for three days. The pump is then connected by a tubing and um, we have a, an insertion site which is then put, it, put in, under the skin to uh, deliver the insulin. And we have a, a lovely lion here that we could demonstrate on. So here is the pump, battery driven. Insulin is in the cartridge here. There, are, there is tubing uh, which will be connected to the site. And I'm removing the protective cover. Um, and there is a needle here which is covered by the very small plastic tube which is going to remain in the skin. So for insertion, we go in at an angle and then remove the needle. So our lion here has had a site inserted and um, that will then be um, connected to the pump here, like that. So insulin, in, in, the fast acting insulin will throw, flow through the tubing. This allows much more flexibility than giving insulin by injections um, three or four times a day.